But yeah, we have a bit <laughs> dude. Like, this isn't working out quite the way I had planned. What is up guys, me like here, and today we are back in action playing some Astroneer, and it's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it and help me out tremendously. So guys, uh, I think this time we're gonna be trying to do something pretty cool. Now, I was told previously, maybe a couple episodes ago, that you can actually use these fuel condensers, make pretty much unlimited fuel, and then use the fuel on the trade stations here, and then pretty much get free resources by just using energy, right? So what I would think, I was thinking we could do is uh, maybe we can do this on all the planets but I eventually want to check out all the planets but anyways besides that I want to make probably like six fuel condenser stations and then maybe like two to three trade platforms and we could just get mass free resources and pretty much it would be awesome we don't have to go mining we don't have to do anything which we probably still will because we want to adventure and find some stuff also someone told me that we can use the grappling hook and actually one of those huge solar panels uh, I think they said blitz did it you can actually grab the solar panels or anything like like that and use it to actually power your base which I think is really really cool so we're we, we're probably going to try to do something like that in the future and then we also still need to make like a truck train so that's also a possibility uh yeah we need a lot we need to do a lot of stuff um also someone told me that i could have made the big storage on here and then attached a bunch of these small storages i guess i could have we didn't really need that much storage to be honest i wanted to bring like i mean i guess we could have put the solar panel on the the big storage or whatever i don't know i mean we maybe we probably should have i have no idea anyways i'm gonna pause it uh, i'm gonna start working on making a bunch of different fuel condensers and then we're gonna see how well this actually works actually before we do that what i want to do is i want to see if uh this yeah this doesn't have any power right so we're gonna have to work on a power situation today we're gonna work on unlimited resources and power today so that's gonna be the two goals uh so yeah this guy is doing so what i want to do is i want to make multiple solar panels this requires uh compound we can make storage, we can make wind turbines, drill heads, batteries. We need to make batteries too. I kind of wish. I don't know why this doesn't work like this, but like this right here, this supplies power to the whole base, right? But if we like stick a solar panel on this dude, it, for some reason it doesn't supply power to everything else. I'm not sure why. As you can see right here, I don't know if this is a glitch or what, but this has a solar panel, right? But it's not supplying power to this. I was really hoping that if you uh, uh, powered one side of the base, it would kind of power all the base, right? But I guess the only way to really power the whole base is to do that. But I guess what we could do, this actually might be a good idea. We could make a truck. Like here, let me let me grab the solar panel off of this dude right here. We can make a truck, attach the truck or, or a rover, attach the rover to that, and then put a bunch of solar panels on that. That would actually probably be the best way to do this. Um, so yeah, let me work on doing that. That way we can start getting some power, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make. Let me go ahead and get that. We're gonna make a rover, I guess. What do we need for a truck? We need it needs aluminum, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Cole, I don't know why you're doing that, but, uh, let's go ahead. Compound, get back on here. So, we're, we're gonna make a rover, for sure. Uh, is that, is it, why, why, you know, is it doing stuff? Yeah, it's doing stuff, I think. Anyways, let's go ahead and make a rover. Boom, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. And then we're gonna try to attach the rover over here. We might eventually make trucks and use trucks instead. That way we can actually have, uh, more spaces, right? Uh, so, let's go ahead and, oh, dude, we need a, we need a chair, right? Um, <laughs> I don't have a freaking chair. Uh, let's go ahead. Let me. I'm gonna make a couple of these dudes. Uh, we're gonna make a chair as well. What do we? Oh, so also I made a battery too. Let's go ahead and grab the battery. Uh, this guy's. Oh my god, it's storming, man! I can't do anything that I want to do. Uh, we're definitely gonna need a chair, so I'm gonna make that first. Uh, but we're gonna drive this dude over here. I wish we could just like pull it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna drive this dude over here and attach it to that and then we're gonna attach a bunch of solar panels and batteries and stuff to it Okay, guys, so this is like I don't know maybe 30 minutes later. I've been trying to I have all this kind of like set out I'm gonna do these six as uh, uh, Fuel condensers. I'm gonna do this as another trade depot So we're gonna have six fuel condensers two trade depots and we should be able to make mass resources Now the only problem I'm running into is the power situation also I have these guys extended just in case we need to do stuff in the future uh, yeah, so the power situation what I orig originally want to do was hook this dude up to our main base and supply power via this That way it would supply power all over the base, right? But it doesn't seem like I've got it hooked up before but it's being really weird I'm not sure why uh, like I, I made two of these dudes. I was gonna make a train, right? So anyways, let's actually get off this dude. I'm gonna stick uh, I'm gonna take this guy off. I'm actually going to okay. Nope. I'm gonna set that down there uh, I'm gonna disconnect these two. Okay, uh, if it'll let me yes, please. Yes, okay uh, Let's go ahead and drive this guy over here. Let's just see if this will connect 
yeah see it's being really weird like it won't connect and i'm not sure how to get it to actually work i don't know why it's doing that i'm not sure at all anyways okay let's go ahead and get out of here it doesn't matter i can figure that out here in a little bit uh what i want to do is i'm gonna stick resin on these dudes okay i would click their, their little resin things but for some reason uh their little resin things aren't showing up right now boom and then that should make a little platform right Okay, so that's a platform. Oh, I was actually worried about them uh, hitting each other, but I guess that's not a, the, not the case here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna do this as well. So we got two of those guys. Oh God, it's storming. It's storming, man. Every time I try to record something, it just freaking storming all the time. Uh, do we have some more resin? Yeah, we got some more resin right here. Boom, and then I'm not sure if there's any more. Let's go ahead and make some more of this. Yeah, this fuel makes like two of every ore, which is really cool, actually. It, oh, God. Oh, God. Storms out. Oh, I died from one hit. What? I died right at the base, guys. <laughs> right at the freaking base. Anyways, uh, are, are you going to... Here, let's get out of here. Let me go ahead and grab everything. I'm going to pause it. Uh, we're going to continue working, and I'll be back here in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. So, I've been coming encountering some problems here. Uh, for some reason, these guys hooked up. I had, like, four solar panels on them. They don't, like, power the whole base. There's, like, some kind of weird issue where it only goes, like, one deep. And that's all it does. Like, you can't power the whole base from a central location for some reason. And I feel like you used to be able to. So, maybe it's, like, where my game has slowly... I don't know, corrupted or something. But these guys right here don't actually transfer power in between them. Uh, and it's really strange. I feel like they should, but they don't. So I can't really power the base from a central location. So this whole train thing doesn't really work that well. And I'm not really sure how to fix it, to be honest. Anyways, I'm going to grab some aluminum here. Uh, I went ahead and made all these fuel condensers. We have seven fuel condensers, including that one. We have two pla uh, trade platforms, and uh, I've been trading and doing all that kind of stuff. Actually, what I want to do is I want to make the truck here. Let's go ahead and make, yes, all of the truck. Uh, let's make this dude. So I'm excited about making the truck. We can finally make kind of like sort of a train, right, and then drag some rovers in behind us. So I guess these guys will be good to drag in behind us. Uh, but besides that, guys, like... I don't know. I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, we can make a bunch of stuff like this solar. I, well, it's nighttime. We definitely need another power source. Now, I was thinking about generators, but the only problem with generators is we can't really make unlimited power by making coal because it's going to take like as much power to make coal as it is um, to make fuel, right? So I guess we would be trading fuel one to one, but then it would take a coal. I don't know, man. I'm not really sure. Uh, solar panels. I mean, I guess we could try the wind thing. That's the only really power we haven't tried yet, but I feel like the wind is only good in storms. It doesn't work all the time, probably. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. We'll have to wait until it gets daytime and make one of the little wind things. Uh, but anyways, uh, we have plenty of power. I'm going to make a bunch of storage uh, uh, solutions. That way I can just constantly click these buttons. And then they'll fill up on the storage. And then when I really want something, I'll have like 47 different uh, fuel containers to trade for it, right? So we'll have pretty much just like what are we, whatever we want to do. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we don't really need to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, it, it, is, it is slightly weird. I don't know why. Uh, let's look at the truck here. Dude, the truck is big, man. That's actually much bigger than I thought it was. Uh, this guy needs power. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to stick this dude on here. And then we do have this uh, battery, right? So I could, like, stick the battery in the truck, I guess, possibly. Uh, but the truck definitely looks like it's a little bit beefier than uh, the rovers over there. Also, this guy connects. Yeah, so I'm having a little bit of problems. Um, <laughs> it's not working out according to plan exactly. Uh, I just think maybe it's because it's bugs in the game. Because I do know you should be able to actually power stuff through the trucks here and maybe power your own base. I could be wrong, though, like I said before. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, but regardless, we'll at least be able to make a lot of fuel and get a lot of items using this right here. And it really didn't take me that long to do. I've been playing for maybe like an hour. So, I mean, they just took me that much trading to be able to, you know, like slowly work my way up and get all the resources I need. I haven't actually left the base so far. Uh, which is good. I don't want to be able to. I don't want to leave the base. I want to be lazy, man. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's. I guess wait till daytime and then we'll play with the truck here. Okay, so I just actually got a, an order of copper here. We got eight malachite. I, I did malachite just because it's pretty easy to smelt, right? And you get about half the resources if you just do straight copper. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick the malachite on this dude right here, and then uh, let's smelt it all down. So it should smell pretty fast, yes. And then what I was thinking is let's make a generator. Let's make a couple generators actually. And that way, if we make generators, we can actually test them out and see how good they are. Maybe one piece of copper actually lasts for a long time. I don't know, I'm not really sure. Uh, but let's just go ahead and give it a try. Boom, 
uh, generator awesome and then we do have one piece of coal and I have found coal on this planet I'm pretty sure or maybe that was on the previous planet I'm not exactly sure anyways we have a generator let's do let's stick the generator I'm not sure guys let's stick it right there so it needs a piece of coal right so let's go ahead and give it a piece of coal boom and it looks like so uh, we're gonna see if one piece of coal lasts a long time if it lasts a long time we might actually like make maybe maybe like a bank of generators and use those instead it really depends on how much this coal lasts okay so it lasts for at least one of these right here so definitely better than solar panels so far well not better than solar panels solar panels are free but this gives us uh like i guess power at night right so let's just, um, we're gonna see how many times this single piece of coal lasts. Oh yeah, you can actually see the coal disappearing right there. So from the way it's disappearing, it looks like it's gonna last about three or four times. You know, that's actually not that bad, guys. That's not that bad at all, actually. That is very interesting. Now, what I would do is if we could actually get power from these dudes, I would probably do two or three generators and maybe one solar panel, and then just go mine a bunch of coal. Like, I think that'd be cool. Or maybe like a generator, a storage, fill it up with coal, and then just have like unlimited power during the nighttime. Use it as a kind of like a backup generator. Okay, so we have uh, three times, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna guess about four times. Four times per piece of coal. That's that's pretty good, man. That's actually really good. Yeah, so it lasted exactly four times. That That's actually not bad at all. That's actually really good. I'm happy with that. Uh, we also have a bunch of compound here. I've been making some storage for all of the little things here. Let's go ahead and grab some of this compound. I think we need uh, two more pieces of storage. Yeah, two more pieces of storage. And then we should be good. And not including any storage that we'd want to stick on the truck, by the way. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and I guess I'm just going to stick some compound right here. And then I'll be back. We're going to make some more storage. And then we're probably going to take the truck out. Okay, guys. So I have the copper needed. Let's go ahead and stick these dudes right there. And we should be able to make the crane. Uh, now, we can do one or two things on the crane. We can either put, uh, put a... Uh, a drill on there or we can do like uh, one of those uh, freaking winches but the winches doesn't need uh, the winch doesn't even need a crane you can just stick a winch on the back of anything and use it so we'll probably try to use the drill maybe I'm not sure I'm not sure how well the drill would actually work um, but anyways I have started uh, I got a bunch of copper here let's go ahead and grab all the copper we're gonna smell all of this down actually the backpack is full that's fine um, let's just go ahead and put all of this right here yes um, there we go, and then we'll just smell down some more copper. It's not really necessary. We don't really need that much copper right now, but we'll just go ahead and have a smell down that way in case we need it in the future. So we have a crane. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our seed over here, and then we are going to uh, let's see where is it? yeah there it is right there. Boom. We got we got a seat. Let's stick the seat like up here, I guess. And we don't really need this battery. I guess we'll stick the battery over here on top of these dudes. Right? Okay, so we'll just stick the battery right there. And uh, let's take out the truck. Actually, no, we need to make the uh, the thing first, right? The, um, crap, what's this thing called? The drill head. Yeah, we need copper. Actually, good thing, I, yeah, we just made copper. That's perfect. Okay, so copper right there. Okay, and then copper right there. Boom. And we'll make the, the drill head. Okay, so we got the drill head. How do we attach this? Do we just attach it right there, possibly? Here, let's stick this guy right here. Let's get inside the truck. Let's drive the truck a little bit. And then let's stick the drill like, oh, wait, wait. Oh no, it can still build right there. That's actually interesting. Um, also, there's two attachment points off the side of the, the crane right there. That's that's very interesting. Um, does this need, oh, there we go. Okay, I see, you actually get inside of this guy right there. Yeah, you get inside of this guy. Oh, that's cool, guys. Um, that's really cool. So you can kind of like go up and down. Oh, that is so awesome, man. That is so awesome. Um, that is so cool. I like this a lot. Anyways, let's get out of here. Um, let's see if I can attach the stupid drill on top of this dude. There we go. The drill is attached. So we have a crane with a, dri uh, with a drill there. And then I guess we could go ahead and make a train, right? Um, we don't want this to be attached, but... We'll go ahead and make a train, and then we'll head out and, like, start looking for some stuff. Okay, guys, so I have assembled the train here. Uh, we have a solar panel, we have a coal generator, and we have two storage things in the back. I still have some empty room right here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, oh, God, what's happening? Un no, don't do this. Actually, you know what? Let's just drive off of this. <laughs> Let's just drive off of this. I don't know where we're going. Okay, and it flipped. 
Good thing uh, these guys can't like explode or do anything weird or I would have probably already killed this dude. Um, it like flew off of my upstairs area, like up where my base is. But yeah, we have a bit of dude. Look at this isn't working out quite the way I had planned. Um, hopefully we have enough power. I'm not sure if they all share power equally. Actually, it kind of looks like they do because this guy is slowly lo losing power right there. Uh, so yeah. Also, we could take research things back, but at this point we know we've already researched everything. So really what I'm looking for is... Actually, I should have made the winch. I should have made the winch because then we could have drug anything we found back. I might go up and get a winch. We're going to go out and look for kind of like alien artifacts to see if there's any like crashed ships or anything like that that we can maybe possibly drag back. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if there's any on this planet, but we could just go see, right? We can check it out. Also, I could get up this way, right? Yeah, I think I can get up this way. If it's going to let me, I don't think it's going to let me, guys. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes, we're so close. We're so close. You got this, bro. Actually, this is just close to base. I'll walk back. Okay, guys, so we're starting on our little adventure here. Uh, that guy back there is derpy right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're trying to go just really far to see what we can find. Now, this planet, the terrain is really crappy, so it's kind of hard to traverse a little bit. So I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to find stuff. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I'm just pretty much dragging the, the other things along here. Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate they're actually not, like, uh, de uh, disattaching or whatever. They're staying pretty, uh, pretty well attached. But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty much just dragging them along just because the terrain is so freaking rough here. Um, but yeah, it's working out fine, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to get to like a smooth area here. Uh, I don't know how possible that is. I feel like everywhere I've been looking has just been all rough terrain. Oh, don't flip. Oh, no, we flipped. Okay, that's fine. Uh, hopefully, okay. Yep, they're, they're doing weird stuff right now. Okay, so yeah, this is a little bit flatter. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to adventure a little bit. We're going to go out. Actually, what is that right there? What is this? Is this, is this ladder right? Here, get back inside of the thing. Yes, get back inside the thing. What is this right here? I don't know what this is. That is... Hmm. I'm not sure. I can't see it. Is that copper or is that aluminum? That's, uh, that's copper. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we don't really need copper. I'll just probably throw that away. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pause it. We're gonna continue looking for some stuff and I'll be back. You know, I could also attach the... Oh, by the way, uh, I put the solar panel on the front here. And then I have the winch on the back. For some reason, the storage and stuff doesn't attach right here, which I think is kind of strange. Can we? We've already got one of these dudes, but can we actually attach this like right here? Looks like it doesn't attach right there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'll be back. Oh, guys, I found some coal here. Look at this. And then I'm using the crane and the the crane. I guess the 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 train's power here. Look at this. This actually mines really fast. This mines extremely fast, guys. Holy crap. Yeah, we got a bunch of... Actually, where's... It? Okay, it gets stored right there. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if you can actually attach a storage on the side of the crane right there. I haven't tried. I feel like it would have snapped, though. I would have seen a snap. Uh, I need to also get the truck out of here, <laughs> which might be a problem. Oh, yeah, look at this. Dude, this thing goes so far, man. Uh, I'm sorry for the weird view. I can't really see anything right now, and you guys probably can't really see anything right now either. Uh, but, yeah, this thing is... Actually, let's, let's just mine all of this. Let's get this out of here. I wonder how much power this is using. I feel like it's not using that much, and I feel like I can mine much longer with this thing. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I like the crane out a lot. I figured it'd be kind of weird and not, like, very useful, but, yeah, it's, it's definitely useful, man. Okay, guys, so I've made a little path here. We found a abandoned ship, kind of like on the first planet. Uh, traveling through this has been a giant pain in the ball, so I'm probably not going to do the train anymore just because it has been a pain in the ass. Uh, but what I thought we'd do is let's go ahead and scavenge this guy right here. Uh, by the way, the coal generator actually helped me out. I found some coal like you guys saw, and I ran out of power in the night. So I used some coal and powered up the whole, sh uh, the whole uh, train here, which is pretty cool. Anyways, we got some stuff here. Um, I'm not sure if any of this can be connected. Let's see, like, what is all this? Okay, this is all part of the same ship here. Okay, so I'm curious. I wonder if we could drag this whole thing back. I feel like probably not, right? But maybe also at the same time we could? Let's just try to dig it up here. Actually, let's, uh, let's grab this seat. Can I stick this second seat over here? Yeah, it seems like you can't. Also, there's... Also, it might be because there's this little organic thing right here. I can't get it off, though. Uh, anyways, yeah, so we got some stuff here, which is good. Uh, let me go ahead and just grab all of this, possibly. Yep. And I wonder, I wonder if this could be used for anything, right? Like, because, I mean, you can use the giant solar panel. So I wonder if you can use everything for something, you know what I mean? I don't know. 
Let's uh, let's see if we let me dig this out and see if we can actually drag it. If we, I mean, it's huge, so we might not be able to drag it at all. But if we could, uh, we're gonna try to. Well, guys, a storm started almost immediately, and then one rock killed me. So we spawned back here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I have no idea where a train is. I thought there was a little marker indicator that showed you like your stuff. But I guess not because I don't see it. We went, we were over in this direction right here. So I might go out and find it or I might just leave it out there. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and comment down below. Maybe some stuff that uh, I could do next time. I think I want to actually maybe check out all the planets next time. And then we might actually try to uh, make the giant train on a planet that's um, more round, right? Like maybe that moon. Uh, from the first planet and then also I want to see what it's like digging down into the core of a planet because apparently each planet has a core So I don't know what's down there. So that would be pretty cool. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here I'm sorry we didn't get the freaking giant ship I don't think you can drag it anyways because that thing wasn't moving at all even though I dug it out So maybe I didn't dig it out completely. I have no idea, but I will see you guys in the next one